In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test multicollinearity of your data in SPSS. Multicollinearity is a problem. It means at least two of the independent variables have correlation with each other. And this kind of correlation affects the regression model. So multicollinearity is unexpected for a good regression model. Let's do the test. Here is my data set. And in this data set, y is the dependent variable, x1, x2, x3 are the three independent variables. To test multicollinearity, we have to go to analyze and then regression. And from here, click on linear. Now pass the variables based on their nature in the blank boxes. Y is dependent variable. So Y will be in the dependent box. X1, X2, X3 are the three independent variables. So they will be in the independent box. And then we have to click on statistics and uncheck all the options. But just check the collinearity diagnostics because this is for testing multicollinearity of your data and then click on continue and finally ok three tables will be generated but we only need the middle one I mean the table of coefficients and here we can see or we can consider any of the two values and these values are of tolerance and VIF factor. And the guideline is for tolerance, if the tolerance value is less than 0 0.1, then there is multicollinearity. I'm saying again, if the value of the tolerance is less than 0 0.1, then there is multicollinearity. On the other hand, if we consider VIF, here the guideline is that if the VIF value is greater than 10, then there is multicollinearity. I'm saying again, if the VIF value is greater than 10, then there is multicollinearity. We may consider tolerance or VIF, or we may consider both, but, but the result will be same. I mean if the tolerance value shows multicollinearity, VI value will also show multicollinearity. If tolerance value is not showing multicollinearity, VI value will not show multicollinearity. However, in this model, in my case, we see the tolerance value of each of the independent variables is greater than 0 0.1 means that no multicollinearity in the independent variables. Now if we consider VIF for this data set, we see that the VIF of each of the variables is less than 10. That also indicate no multicollinearity in the data. So, in this way, you can check the multicollinearity of the independent variables of your data set. Now, if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.